Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I want to review my beauty and channel goals that I set for 2019 and talk about my goals for 2020. So I'm actually like really happy. I've had my channel since the beginning of 2018, so I now have a couple of years to like look back on, which is really what I wanted to do when I started out. And I just think it's so cool to have like this kind of reflection time that I can then look back on in years past or future, or whatever, <laughs> and see where I was at a certain point in time. I just went and I watched my 2019 video, which was in December of 2018, and it's, it's really enlightening to see, like, what's changed, uh, what do I feel different about, and where I am now. So we're gonna go over my 2019 goals, both beauty and YouTube channel related, talk about how I feel that I did for those, and then I'm gonna give you my 2020 goals. If you are thinking, ooh, her hair looks extra thick and luscious and gorgeous today, thank you, but I am wearing hair extensions. <laughs> I am wearing hair extensions today. I did just pop up a video all about the hair extension I was gifted from irresistibleme.com. I did a full review, a month of testing, and I also bought a wig from them separately to test out the quality of their wig. So if you missed that video, I'll throw it up in the cards if you're interested. So my first beauty goal for 2019 was to focus on more editorial looks, specifically using more lashes. <laughs> well. I could probably still count the amount of times I wore lashes on both hands. I don't know. Uh, one thing I did discover. Is anyone here short? Like, I'm five foot two. I am short. Short to the point where, like, I go to the store and I buy a pair of capri pants and they're just pants. Okay? We've all had that short girl experience. <laughs> but then those capri pants end up looking baller on you and they look amazing and, like, just who cares? They're, no one knows their capris except for you and me, right? Right. So I had that same kind of experience with lashes. And I'm going to tell you <laughs> how. I bought accent lashes, which are really just lashes that are theoretically supposed to only go on like your outer third of your eye. And those accent lashes took up the majority of my eye and looked amazing and were comfortable. So I think I finally found a style of lash that works for me, and I think it's the capri of lashes. Like, it's they're supposed to be shorter, they're supposed to be accents, but for me and my small, beady little eyes, they're full lashes. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm gonna try and focus more, maybe, on lashes. Lashes have been, like, on my last two years of goals, and we haven't quite hit it yet, but those accent lashes were great and I definitely want to pick up more of those and continue wearing those because those were the best lashes I found so far. My next goal for 2019 was to try more indie brands and I've definitely done that. I think I've explored, I've tested out more products. I even backed an indie campaign, not an indie campaign. I backed a Kickstarter campaign. So this is from a brand called UKMA and this is the unfiltered palette and I actually did back the Kickstarter for this back in like August of 28, 2019. <laughs> and then I just got this shipped to me like right around Christmas time. So I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today for the first time. I'm testing this out and I want to do a whole video on that. So I feel like I did a really good job of that goal of trying more indie brands, just trying different things. I also subscribed to Try Beauty Box, which is a subscription box every other month that really does focus more on smaller and more indie brands. So if you missed the video where I unboxed my first box, I'll throw that up in the cards. All right, my last beauty goal for 2019 was to shop my stash more often, i.e. be more aware of what I already own. I think I did really good at this. I think I've gotten to a point now where my shop my stash monthly videos are not only are they doing really well, you guys really love watching them, they're really helpful to me to see what's in my collection. And I think I just need to take it a step further because in those videos I tend to skip two, two categories and that is eyeshadow palettes and lip products. I really need to get better at shopping my stash for my eyeshadow palettes because I tend to focus, hyper focus, on my Panda palette. And I need to get better at rotating lip products because I need to wear the lip products or I need to declutter them because what's the point of having all these lip products if I don't reach for them? All right, so my channel goals for 2019. My first goal was to keep up with my posting schedule, which if you've been here for a bit, at the beginning of 2019, I was posting Monday through Friday, which was a lot. <laughs> I, oof, 
it, it was a lot. And um, I ended up coming out with a video. I'll throw it up in the cards if you missed it back then. But I talked about how stressed I was and how I couldn't really keep up with my full-time job, with my boyfriend, with my friends, with my family, and with YouTube five times a week. So I ended up cutting my schedule down, but I'm so glad I did. I've been experimenting more with the times that I'm posting. Like during the weekdays that I post Wednesday and Friday, I post early in the morning. When I post on Sundays now, I post at 5 p.m. And I like the, the structure that it gives me. And I also like um, how I can now move and work my schedule around that posting schedule so much better because having all day Sunday that's like my de facto YouTube day I can film I can edit I can do thumbnails I can answer comments and I can just schedule everything and having all day to do it and then not have to post my video until five is really helpful so even though technically I didn't keep my original goal of posting Monday through Friday I did keep up with my posting schedule throughout the entire year my next goal was to work on and post more tutorials. I didn't do this well. I really want to focus more on, like I said, chopping my stash and doing more palette resurrections because when I do like a dry bones actual tutorial, you hear a lot of YouTubers talk about this, but it doesn't get the views. And they're for me, the hardest and longest videos to film and to edit. And to put at least five hours of work, like filming, filming the b-roll the product shots filming the tutorial uh editing everything having to do that at least five hours of work to have it perform literally the worst out of any of my videos this month it wasn't that great so i don't think i'm going to be doing any more just solid kind of tutorials like that i want them to focus more on like products, like bringing out an old palette, doing tutorial around that, bringing out face palettes, doing some more reviews on like those kinds of things. Because while I do like part of the process of tutorials, it's a lot of work. And it doesn't seem like you guys really like watching them. So yeah, I didn't really do that great, but neither did the tutorials. My next goal was to work on my lighting quality. And as I've already seen in this video, my lighting has changed at least three times. That is the challenge of living in an attic with sloped ceilings and really bad lighting. But I think I've gotten so much better. I've got my ring light. I've got two umbrella lights. I removed it from behind me because the sun started shining. But I also have a light I keep like right behind my chair so that it lights behind me. So I think I've gotten loads better. It's not perfect yet, but it's definitely a hell of a lot better. Like, I have videos from last year where you can't even see what the like what product I'm wearing because I was so washed out and the lighting sucked. <laughs> All right, so yeah, overall I think I did pretty good for my 2019 goals and I liked having things I could look back on and check my progress on throughout the year and really used to keep myself focused. Now, for my 2020 goals, I talked a little bit about like extensions from last year, my beauty goals. My first one is to focus more on shopping my stash over panning constantly. I talk about this a lot more in my um, nine pan 19 project finale. If you missed that, I'll throw it up on the cards. But I panned, I did too many panning projects at one time in 2019. Like I had my nine pan 19, I had seasonal project pans, I had my pan that palette. And at any one time I was panning enough for a full face. And to me, I got really bored very quickly because I wasn't shopping my stash. I had enough to do my full face with these panning projects and I was focusing on those, but I was neglecting the rest of my collection. And I really don't wanna do that in 2020. On top of that, my next beauty goal for 2020 is to get better at using and rotating eyeshadow palettes that are not my Pan That palette. I think I did finish my last Pan That palette subculture and I'm glad I did it. But like for all of November and December, I like, put away the rest of my, I was still buying palettes, but the minute I got them, they would get put to the side because I had to focus on my pen, that palette. Like I need to get better at including and rotating my palettes because I have over a hundred eyeshadow palettes. Let me say that again. I have over a hundred and I need to use more. I need to do a declutter, which I'm, I'm planning to do another declutter week towards the end of January or the first week of February. So it will be decluttered, but I also need to use what I have. And I need to get better at not hyper fixating on just my pan that palette and actually bringing in more. My last beauty goal for 2020 is to work on my hair more. I want to dedicate myself to weekly deep conditioning sessions 
and regular trims, which trimming myself. I don't know why I did this. This is hair extension hair. My real hair is like this part and this part. But um, yeah, I want to do more videos about my hair. I want to continue experimenting. So a big reason why I accepted um, when this company reached out to give me hair extensions is because I really want to experiment more with my natural hair texture and with different hairstyles. And I really wanted to use the hair extensions to give me more practice with that and just to see what I could do. So I'm really glad that I did that and I want to do more videos. It's going to cross over into my channel goal for 2020, which is to work on more videos focusing on curly hair, curly hair product reviews, and hair styling. Speaking of, I have three other channel, YouTube channel related goals for 2020. And the first one is to keep up with my posting schedule three times a week. I like my current schedule, the Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. I don't think I'm going to change that anytime soon. I think I finally got into my groove and I really like this schedule. So I'm going to dedicate myself to sticking to it. My next channel goal, which is a bit different, this is to continue working on written reviews, typically after empties videos, posting them to Instagram with more pictures and to Influencer. So after my last empties video a few months ago, I decided to practice doing written product reviews and I thought Influencer would be the best way to help me out with that. So I do have an Influencer account. I've been posting reviews there after my empties videos. I still keep all the empties and I actually go through and like type up my review there. I actually was able to just get my first Vox box from Influencer, which is a box of product they gift you because they want you to review them. I just got my first one. I'm really excited about it, really excited to test out the products and post my reviews there. So I want to focus more on getting better at doing written reviews and posting them to Instagram. Because my Instagram, I'm so inconsistent with my Instagram. My Instagram's terrible. <laughs> Um, also our dog's Instagram. I don't post there as often as I should. So I want to continue to do that, continue working on Influencer and with Influencer and uh, on Instagram too. All right, and my last goal for 2020, which is a carryover from a 2019 goal, which I don't know if I mentioned, I think I forgot it, but I had a goal to do more collabs. I did a lot of great collabs. I've made so many awesome friends on YouTube and I'm so happy that we can all connect in this awesome little tiny drama free beauty space that we've created for ourselves like I like that when we couldn't find what we wanted we made it so I did a lot of great collabs and I want to continue that bring that into 2020 and do even more collabs in 2020 and just stay connected with all these great friends that I've been able to make so that is it I will throw up my little document that I made of my 2019 goals versus my 2020 goals I'll probably jump in here and like add in what I put for my 2018 goals because I think it would look really cool to see all of my goals side by side in like one document so those are my goals thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below if you have any youtube channel goals any beauty goals any makeup goals for 2020 and if you had any for 2019 how those went. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.